yourself, gentlemen and ladies. Some of you might be um, aliens, but whatever you are, if you're hanging out with me here on Fireball Malibu Blog, it's because you like cars. In fact, you love cars. In fact, cars are everything. And as we know this, uh, I decided that today, I mean Saturday, I'm going to take you guys back up to the Murphy Museum because um, it's in Oxnard. They're doing an event up there. David is holding a an event that is kind of a how-to work on cars for kids. So it's a great educational event and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, they they switch route the museum so there's lots of new cars and, uh, and they move everything around. So we should be able to see some cool stuff. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be awesome. here a 2014 Patriot why why is this important because this is this young man's new car yes okay, give me your full name William Neal why because I am the son of the owner of the Murphy Auto <laughs> Museum <laughs> that's right uh, this is William and uh, you, you got to be excited you got you got is this your first car yes so you finally have your freedom I do kind of kind of and uh, as a result of, of your new car, you're going to go to the prom tonight. Yes. But you're not going to take this. No. You're going to take something from the museum. Of course. Well, what do you take? The Mustang. The Mach 1. The Mach 1. Is that your favorite in the museum? Probably. It drives nice. Yes. It drives really nice. Uh, okay, so you're happy about having a new car? I am. Yeah? What's, what are the, what's the one thing you're looking forward to? Uh, getting a job to pay for gas. <laughs> not something you would expect a young man to say, but no. that's very good. Good job, buddy. All right. I've driven that. I'm going to be driving this soon. This is the Fisker, and uh, it's still got a couple of issues, so they're working that out. Going to be sweet, though. new 1932 Packard series 900 that is a smoking hot babe right there mm -hmm. education thing for kids and uh, they're going to be using William's car taking the wheels off and doing some different things I hope they can put them back on is a 1929 Hudson. Another gorgeous piece. You know, there's even something even better. There's a truck over here. Check this out. So lots of cool cars here. Uh, <laughs> amazing stuff everywhere. Uh, we're getting ready for the kids to show up. And we'll just, you know, walk around looking at stuff. As a side note, David has a uh, a trailer show. I don't know where I went. I went the wrong direction. Hello. David has a trailer show that's coming up in June. It's going to be happening here at the Murphy Museum. And the June Wheels and Waves is going to be featuring a trailer right... Yeah, this one right here. Let's go take a look at that. That's going to be at the Wheels and Waves in June. You guys are going to dig that. Excitement going on. 
They're filming right now. Uh, David's being interviewed right here. Let's walk around in the back, see what else is new. We're going to be taking this 38 Ford to the Ventura Nationals in September. That's going to be cool. This is the uh, the Mach 1 that we had on the blog a little while ago. That's what William's going to be taking to the prom tonight. What else? What else? Remember this? Drove that a little while ago. Lots of caddies. Uh, Shad Balch, if you're watching right now, check out all these caddies here at the Murphy Museum. This one especially. This is one of my favorites. Had that on the blog. Princess Green Caddy. Uh-huh. This is Bert. Uh, you guys know David, and uh, this is some kind of uh, award. This Tell is a yeah. This is a proclamation from the city of Oxnard, city of Oxnard, Oxnard by the this, city for what these this business and these individuals are doing to help the city of Oxnard in all forms. And right now, today, they're going to help a bunch of youth right. with car issues and mm -hmm. learning about things. So, so safety. But you were Thank walking you. around and you were saying that uh, you you remember some of these cars oh, yeah, being I, new. I, I remember <laughs> right here. Uh, I was carpool with a classmate of mine in a car like that mm -hmm. and uh, it was like wow we're gonna ride in a cab <laughs> <laughs> with electric windows wow, exactly. I remember you know, I was like holy God. what I remember was a fins yeah. holy so if you could have the keys to any one of these would it be the caddy no there's another one right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard part well congratulations so hard, yeah. we're very honored this very is very cool. nice Bert, thank you yeah. so much for acknowledging him thank very you. cool stuff this is Steve uh, the Steve Ford. Uh, what's your website before we start? Thecarguy.com. Right. But for this one, the MurphyAutoMuseum.org or DiscoveringCars.org. Uh, That's our <laughs> education world. There's a reason but that I'm this... with Fireball Tim, and I get to be interviewed by Fireball well, Tim, and I have made it. Uh, no, no. There's a, there's a lot more to do, buddy. A lot more to do. Uh, Steve is the car guy for a very particular reason. He is here to help kids and to educate kids on uh, the love of cars and and um, and all that means, which is really good. Uh, you have a great website Thank you. and uh, you're doing a, uh, everything that you can to try to educate, try to help yeah. kids to uh, share our passion. Yeah, uh, to understand how to, uh, you know, take a car apart. The camaraderie together. that you and I share every yeah. time we bump into each other at car yeah. events. Today we have a vehicle over here that's going to be our, our lab. You and I both know these things are on fire, they make noise, they go fast, they look cool, mm -hmm. and, the, and look at the designs, there's so many varieties. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we're looking at what you and I are all about, which is sharing our passion. And you and I just live it. These kids are brand new to the planet. So we're gonna try to help them just be aware of what's under the hood. So we call it, what's in the hood. Mm -hmm. So we'll be going under the hood of this vehicle. Right. We'll talk, we're gonna go over and, and, and Tim's gonna watch me, you know. Do you really know how to take a wheel off a car, <laughs> Steve? is an SAE mechanic, Society of Automotive Engineers mechanic. He's very passionate about vocational uh, education, auto shop in high school, which is harder to find now than it was when I was in high school. I took four years of it. Uh, so it's, I'm, I'm really glad that he's here uh, to offer his, uh, his talents and his teaching skills. Fun time 
stopping up at the Murphy, hanging out with David and seeing what's going on up there. Some very cool new cars have arrived at the museum. We'll be driving a few soon, but for now, gotta head back south, got some things to do. Find a spectacular day. Evolution is the, the desire of that, that spark in you to expand and to grow. And a great way to do that, to achieve that, is through sharing. And in, in other words, through giving. Steve understands that. Uh, David Neal understands it at the Murphy Museum. Lots of my friends understand this. But there's still times when you meet someone that is challenged with, with giving because they kind of feel like they don't, they don't have something to give. But they have it in their mind that, that giving consists of giving money or, or something that uh, they feel they can't afford to give. When you give your experience, when you give something that you love, your passion, and, and spread that out, that's, uh, that's you evolving, that's evolution. I'm not saying that uh, eventually our heads might grow huge, uh, our eyes might get bigger, our butts might get bigger. I'm not really sure uh, how we're going to evolve as a species, but I'm not talking about evolution physically. I'm talking about consciousness. I'm talking about spiritual evolution. I'm talking about bringing more into your life, good things into your life that make your life worthwhile. The secret to a good life is actually very simple. The secret is in giving, in your ability to establish and to be grateful for what it is that you have and to be able to share that with the world, with your friends, with a child. I admire people like Steve uh, uh, for coming to the Murphy Museum and wanting to share his passion and his knowledge with, with kids so that they can grow up and, and have have something that's worthwhile, have a piece of knowledge that if they ever get into trouble, they know exactly what to do to fix it. It goes back to the adage that you can feed a man a fish or you can teach a man a fish. As far as I'm concerned, uh, being vegetarian, I'd rather teach someone how to work on cars. And they don't have to eat fish. Okay, now I'm lost. Uh, where, where was it? Tomorrow, we're headed to Supercar Sunday and the Queen's English Car Show. I'm gonna be joining my good friend, Paul Grisanti, Malibu Realtor to the Stars. We're gonna be checking out cool cars in two different shows. We're gonna take you guys along with us. I hope you can all fit in the car.